What's up everybody, Kevin here from Bicycle Warehouse today. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, bearing wear. And I know everybody has bearing wear because I see the bikes that come in here. I know everybody's out riding, this is the summer, this is the time to ride, this is the, the mecca of our season here. I know it gets hot, uh, we live in a dusty area, we live in a sandy area, um, majority of the riding that can sit around here, you know, Tads and PQ and Mission. Um, those are the local shred spots and what happens around there is because it's so dusty uh, that dust gets everywhere um, the problem that this guest had is that uh, it's he had a consistent creaking problem couldn't figure out what the hell is going on with this thing just every time it went out just had a creak after creak after creak after creak so basically what happened with time is that uh, the bearings broke down. You know, all these little bearings in here and the linkage and uh, all the upper parts here, they just break down with time. Especially, you know, once you start adding dirt and dust and grime and all that crap into there, you know, it just magnifies everything. It, intensi it intensifies the whole process. So that this is another reason why you have to stay on top of your bike, uh, cleaning it, um, you know, trying to get as much of that dirt off of there, especially after every rise you can, because if you don't, you know, this is what happens here. I know it's kind of hard to see on lens here, but these bearings were in such a bad shape when we took it apart that, you know, as soon as we got into the bearings, we knew we had to replace them here. This is some of the old hardware. Um, <clears throat> you know, just like with anything else, especially, I've said this before, your skis, your car, that kind of stuff. If your bike has bearings, which I'm sure it does, and it's a full suspension, these guys wear out. It's not, uh, it's not an if, it's, it's a when. Um, they will always wear out if you have an older bike chances are depending on how much it gets ridden depending on the type of design some of them wear more than others um, they will wear out what happens then is you end up prematurely wearing out all the other kind of moving parts on the bike best thing to do really is to just stay on top of the maintenance um, pivot package take them apart grease them put them back together uh, make sure your bike gets washed if you're riding in the mud that's the first thing you want to get off especially sandy areas like i was saying before if you're starting to hear some creaking you're maybe starting to see a little bit less uh, movement in your suspension things are getting a little bit noisier it's probably because some of those linkage down there are dirty the bearings are may have gone bad there's so much load that stuff compresses so many times every second every minute you have to you have to imagine that that stuff has got to wear out with time so this weather, where we live, this climate, the type of riding that we do, this is the type of maintenance that has to be done on this type of bike. Hey everybody, keep keep shredding, keep riding, bring that stuff in. I'm here for you and your bike, so come on in and see us. Thanks.